Hello, hello everyone. This is Dion Blanks and I'd like to welcome you back to another Wealth Wednesdays with Dion. So today I am going to talk strictly about the stock market and it's because I have received questions regarding exactly what to do in this environment. So if you haven't noticed, the stock market is dropping a lot. Uh, it looks very bearish, meaning that the market looks like it's going to have a downturn right now. And the questions um, I've received have been in regards exactly what should you do at this time. So first of all, this is not financial advice, but I can definitely let you know of some things that you may want to consider during this downturn. So um, one thing that you want to make sure that you have is a solid portfolio. Know exactly why you are holding the stocks that you are currently holding. If you have no idea about why you have the stocks in your portfolio just because someone told you about it, this is not a great time for that. You definitely need to make sure that if no other time you take a look at your portfolio and really be able to identify why each of those companies are in your portfolio and if this is a time that you want to hold on to something that you don't know anything about okay so really look at that this is a great time to get your list together for companies that you would like to buy into so if you do not have your stock portfolio together yet to take advantage of these drops in the market um, of course we don't just buy when it's still dropping we don't catch falling knives as i say but it's a great time to at least get your list together so when the market does start going down and coming back up a little bit, you can determine if this is a time that you want to buy into those companies. I definitely would love to help you with that. You can click on the link in the bio if you need assistance with that. Now, back to the alternatives to uh, investing in um, whatever you're invested in right now. Let me give you a couple of things to think about. So customarily, a lot of people will move into bonds. Bonds are guaranteed by the government if you go with a bond from, say, the Treasury. You can go ahead and get a bond. The bond has less risk than stocks, so clearly they have less returns than stocks most time as well. However, they do represent stability. So that is one option. Um, I'm not a huge bond fan, uh, a bond fan. Instead, I like to move into a defensive position. If I'm going to change up anything at all, I'm really satisfied with the portfolio that I have right now because it also includes defensive stocks. Um, but let me go ahead and explain what a defensive stock is. So in the market, the sector that's referred to as a defensive sector or defensive stocks, these are stocks that do not change based on the market cycles. They may change a little bit, but these are the uh, steady stocks that you are going to need regardless of what happens in the market. So these are stocks, if you want to think about things that you see um, by Procter & Gamble, those, you know, dish detergent and things like that, toilet paper, paper towels, all that kind of stuff does not tend to um, be affected by the market as much as, say, a tech company or a high growth company. Now, these defensive companies provide stability in times of market instability. And this is something that you may want to look at. So a couple other industries as well are utilities. No matter what happens, we always gonna need, you know, oil, gas, energy, those types of stocks as well are considered defensive positions. Um, and also REITs, uh, real estate investment trusts that own apartments because no matter what happens, we still have to have somewhere to stay. People still are going to rent apartments and REITs do very well during this time as well, most of the time. So those, that's just a couple things to think about as the market turns down. If you have a solid portfolio, please do not go out and sell anything at the bottom because you know I'll be right there waiting to buy it. Um, because you know you don't want to sell out at the bottom and end up locking in these losses okay so just be patient the market always corrects and you know goes back up and makes a higher high so just be patient with it if you have time now if you are heading into retirement you definitely want to contact your 401k plan administrator and discuss different options um, that you have so that you can secure what you have especially if you're going to need it within the next year or two years 
please watch out for yourself. I'm sure they are not calling you. So you pick up the phone and you call them and make arrangements and see what um, mutual fund options you have inside of your 401k plan that you may want to consider moving to. That's if you are working and you are nearing retirement. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. Hopefully you all are not panicking, but planning. Of course, as always, I would love to assist you with your wealth building portfolio. Just click the link in the bio and I will give you a call for our strategy session. All right. This has been another Wealth Wednesdays with Dion. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.